Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I will explain to you on how to write the software development plan SDP. SDP, it is a necessity in development of information system. The software development plan consists of four main topics. The first topic is the introduction, which discuss the purpose the scope and also the references of the SDP. The second topic is the project overview where it discuss the assumptions and constraints and also the project deliverables. The third topic of SDP is the project organization where it discuss the organizational structure of the project and also the external interfaces and lastly the roles and responsibilities of the team. And the last topic in SDP is the management process where it discusses about the project plan and the project schedule to the project resourcing and also the budget. So, what is system or software development plan? It is literally a document that records the overall and initial plans of a system development. The SDP records how the system will be carried out and the system engineering activities that will be proceed in the system development process. SDP also documents all the resources allocation within the system development project. Other than that, it also includes all the schedule as well as the description of the primary activities in a system development process. Let's take a look on the first chapter of the SDP, that is the introduction. The introduction topic will include the purpose, the scope and also the references of the system development plan document. In this section, you have to describe all the purpose or the objective of the system that is going to be developed. For example, if you plan to develop a system for a clinic, you have to specify what are the purposes of the system. Is it to keep the treatment data of a patient? Or is it being developed to computerize or systemize the appointment process and task? Or is the purpose of the system may include both of the purpose or objectives? Then you must explain it in SDP document. The second part of introduction is the scope. In scope, you have to discuss thoroughly about who are the users, what kind of data that need to be kept, what are the processes that need to be included in the system, what is the platform to develop and run the system, and also the technology needed by the system. For example, the system is going to be used by the doctor and nurses or helper in the clinic. The data needed by the system are the disease data from patients, the treatment suggestions from the doctor and the appointment details from the doctor. The process involved are registering new patients, treatment, dispensary, payment and appointment. And the platform of development is window and the running platform will be Windows, Android and also the iOS. And lastly, the technology needed in this system is an infrared barcode reader to capture the code from the patient's card. And lastly, you also have to write all the references that you read and refer in preparing this SDP document. The second part of SDP is the project overview. In project overview, 
you have to write the assumptions and constraints and also the project deliverables. In assumption and constraint section, you have thoroughly discussed the budgets of developing this system. Also, you have to discuss how many staff that you need to develop the system and what are the equipment that is needed in this project. You are also need to schedule all the tasks and the process of developing the system. Other than that, you also need to list all of the constraints. The constraint is what you cannot have during developing this project regarding on the budget, the staff, the equipment and also the scheduling time. In project deliverables section, you have to list the end product that will be created. The end product list must also be attached together with the delivery dates or the expected outcome dates. The third section in SDP is the project organization. In this section, you have to discuss the organizational structure of the project, the external interfaces, and also the roles and responsibilities of every single members in your project team. First thing first, in the organizational structure, you have to illustrate the structure of the development team members. In the organizational structure, you have to point out who are the team leader and who are the team members together with their roles. In the external interfaces section, you have to explain about the list of the external group or staff and also the external resources that you need to develop this system. For example, your company does not have a database administrator. So, for this new system, you have to hire a database administrator, for example, for four months to maintain your new database. And in roles and responsibilities section, you have to write and explain thoroughly on the responsibility of each of the workforce in your team. And the last section of SDP is the management process. In management process, it discusses the project schedule, the project resourcing, the staffing plan and also the budget. For project schedule, you have to illustrate a diagram or tables that consist of the targeted date of completion for each of the tasks in the development process. Next, in staffing plan, you have to list out all of the numbers, how many staff that you need and the type of staff that is required in developing this system. And lastly, you have also to list all of the costs that contribute in the system development project. The cost includes all of the staff salary and also the amount of money that you need to buy all of the application or, of, or the software and also the hardware that, that you need in the system development project. So, that is all you need to know on how to write a system development plan. So if you have any question on the SDP, please do ask me in the Telegram group. Until then, see you again. Bye-bye.